God said to David, Be not too intimate with men, for two kinds of persons are excluded from my presence, those who are earnest in seeking reward and slack when they obtain it, and those who prefer their own thoughts to the remembrance of me. The sign of my displeasure is that I leave such to themselves. N. A unity of three separate relationships. 1. Our relationship with others, nature and the universe. 2. Our relationship with God. 3. Our relationship with ourself. These relationships are not alien to one another, there are no boundaries between them. They move in the same direction. The deceitful character of the world comes out in the following ways. In the first place, it pretends that it will always remain with you, while, as a matter of fact, it is slipping away from you, moment by moment, and bidding you farewell, like a shadow which seems stationary, but is actually always moving. Again, the world presents itself under the guise of a radiant but immoral sorceress, pretends to be in love with you, fondles you, and then goes off to your enemies, leaving you to die of chagrin and despair. Jesus, upon whom be peace, saw the world revealed in the form of an ugly old hag. He asked her how many husbands she had possessed, she replied that they were countless. He asked whether they had died or been divorced, she said that she had slain them all. I marvel, he said, at the fools who see what you have done to others, and still desire you. This? It is related that Satan came before Yahya. The latter saw that Satan had plucks of everything on his body. He asked him, O oh Satan, what are these plucks? He replied, These are the desires with which I hunt mankind. Yahya asked, Do you have any of my plucks there? He replied, Perhaps you ate a stomach full which caused you to feel heavy and uncomfortable in offering Zella and remembering Allah. Yahya asked, is there anything else? He replied, No. Yahya said, I take an oath that I will never fill my stomach with food. Satan said to him, I take an oath that I will never advise a Muslim. Among them is the love to have beautiful utensils, clothing and to adorn and decorate the house. When Satan sees that this quality has overpowered the heart of a particular person, he settles down and establishes himself in that person's heart. He then continually invites him towards building the house, beautifying its roofs and walls, expanding it, etc. He also invites him towards beautifying himself with clothing and animals. He causes the person to undergo losses throughout his life and fulfilling all these demands. Once he gets him involved in all this, he does not have to go that person a second time because these very demands, and desires, lead him to fulfill other demands. This continues till his death. He thus dies in the path of Satan and in following his desires. An evil destiny is thus feared from all this. We seek refuge in Allah. The first step to self-knowledge is to know that thou art composed of an outward shape, called the body, and an inward entity called the heart, or soul. Matter with you, commander of the believers? To this he would reply, the time has come for a trust which God offered to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to carry it, they were wary of it, but I have taken it on. Some may say that the resources of the world are necessary for men to pass their lives in this world. How can they abstain from using these necessaries of life? It may be noted carefully that whatever has been said about Zud, abstinence, 
pertains to the possession and use of useless and superfluous things of life. The practice of Zud has been advised about things which are not indispensable for life in this world. None can advise against using things which are necessary to maintain health so necessary for keeping body and soul together and for devotion and worship in the path of exalted Allah. Ibn al-Masayab said, If a person performs prayer in a wilderness, an angel prays on his right and an angel prays on his left. If he also gives the call to prayer and the signal to begin, angels perform prayer behind him in rows like mountain ranges.